You're in a conversation about sex, and someone says that accepting transgender theory is necessary for our society to tear down harmful stereotypes about men and women. What would you say? Far from destroying sex stereotypes, transgender theory depends on rigid stereotypes about what it means to be a man or a woman. Parents are told that stereotypes like clothing preferences, hairstyles, preferred toys, and games are signs that their children are transgender. Take this mom who described in an article from Parent Magazine how she learned her daughter was actually a boy. The signs could be seen in all the phases and interests that came and went. Spider-Man, Power Rangers, Mario, Zombies, Beyblades, Minecraft, WWE, Pokemon. In isolation, each sign was minuscule and meaningless, easily explained away as normal, as no big deal. As a collection, however, they added up to an unwavering truth. He was not growing out of being a boy, he was growing into it. This mother came to the fact that her daughter is actually a boy, at least in part, because she consistently enjoyed boy stuff. So we have this strange situation where if we tell a girl that liking dresses makes her a girl, it's sexist. But if we tell a boy that liking dresses makes him a girl, it's affirming. Well, that's not all. When someone transitions from one gender to the other, they typically do so by expressing sex stereotypes. For example, when Bruce Jenner decided to become Caitlyn, he showed up on the cover of Vanity Fair with long hair, lots of makeup, and even a little bit of cleavage. All to show how female he is. We should all agree that certain gender stereotypes are arbitrary and even harmful, but transgender theory doesn't eliminate these stereotypes. It isn't helping us evolve past them as a society. Transgender theory depends on these stereotypes. If you like this video, let us know below. If you want to make sure you see the next one, hit subscribe. If you'd like to keep these videos free and available to the whole world, chip in below.